Hare Krishna. Before I begin, I would like to offer my respectful obeisances unto our eternal spiritual master, the Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Swami, Srila Prabhupada, Nama Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Krishna, Ebutale, Sri Mate Bhaktivedanta Swami, Nitinamine, Namaste, Saraswate Deve, Gauravani Pachayane, Nirvishesha Shunyavani, Pashtachadeshtayane. Next, I would like to offer my respectful obeisances unto His Holiness Mukunda Goswami. Vajra Kopaturya Shaka Pasin Dumi Evacha, Patitana, Pavanebio, Vaishnavibio, Namo Namaha. On this occasion, the 80th anniversary of Mukunda Maharaj's appearance in this world, I would like to just share my respects and a few thoughts uh, that arise from my interaction with Mukunda Goswami. He is obviously an ISKCON icon. He met Srila Prabhupada before Srila Prabhupada founded his International Society for Krishna Consciousness, and he was very instrumental in helping Prabhupada to do so. That history is recorded in uh, Srila Prabhupada's Lilamrita and in Mukunda Maharaj's own writings, so I won't say too much about that, but I would just like to share uh, a few words of appreciation that arise from my interaction with Maharaj over the years. First is that he, I think of him as the great communicator because he is shown by his personal example how to communicate with devotees and with the world at large and the importance of such communication. He, is, he was instrumental in founding ISKCON Communications, ISKCON World Review, and my connection really began with Hare Krishna Today, the monthly news video that Maharaj pioneered. I would also like to share just a few uh, stories that I've heard from Maharaj that are very um, meaningful and uh, that we can learn from. Both of these incidents occurred in London. The first was that of a devotee who went to the dentist accompanied by another devotee. And while waiting uh, for his turn in the chair, this devotee was obviously a bit nervous. He was chanting uh, Japa very loudly. And the other devotee who accompanied him um, asked them maybe to chant not so loudly. But the first devotee responded that, well, Prophet said we should chant loudly. So after they got back to the manor, the incident was brought to Prophet's attention. And according to Mukunda Maharaj, Prophet said famously, one should chant loud enough to hear oneself, but not so loudly that one disturbs others. And the other anecdote that Maharaj shared uh, was about him witnessing one devotee, I forget the devotee's name, who was preparing to go to um, deal with some government uh, business related to ISKCON. And the devotee had dressed very nicely with a suit and tie. And so Mukunda Maharaj was appreciating that and kind of, I guess, wondering. Uh, but then Prabhupada said, again famously, that first one should dress and then address. Anyway, over the years, Maharaj has shown by his uh, personal example and the importance of properly interacting with devotees and with the public. He's shown by his own example that gentle behavior is very, very important. It's natural for him, Prophet said once, that Mukunda is very gentle. And uh, my, in my experience, that is so. He deals with devotees in a very gentle way, even under trying circumstances. And of course, he deals with the public in a very gentle way. So again, I would like to express my well wishes to Maharaj on the occasion of his 80th appearance in this world. And may he continue to bless us for a long time with his association. Hare Krishna.